On behalf of Kyle and Mackenzie and their families, let me welcome you to this very special time that they have selected to celebrate the joining together of their lives as husband and wife. You know, marriage as ordained by God in Scripture is sacred and it's to be entered into with the utmost reverence. And what better sanctuary for us to worship than a picture-perfect day in April. Uh, two weeks ago in Louisville, we had snow. And uh, Kyle was a little bit antsy about what is the weather going to be. Kyle, God took care of us. My bride, today is perfect. No matter the weather, no matter if everything goes according to plan, today is perfect because I get to call you my wife from this day on and for forever. There is simply no way for me to truly describe how much you mean to me. You are absolutely the best thing in my life and getting to call you mine is a feat that I just can never outdo. I simply cannot believe that God has blessed me with such an amazing, beautiful, and perfect woman to travel through life with, and I thank Him every single day for it. Today, I can't wait to see you walking down the aisle. I can't wait to hold your hand and look into your stunning eyes. But most importantly, I can't wait to bow my infinite love to you in front of those who mean the most to us, because that is what today is about, and it is perfect. I love you, Kyle. Kyle, I can't believe our wedding day is finally here. I can't wait to see you as I'm walking down that aisle to you later. Your calmness in every situation is exactly what I need right now, so I'm dying to be holding your hand later. I just imagine our future together and can't think of anything better. Right now, I'm thinking back to the first day I ever saw you. I smiled so big when I caught sight of you. A few years later, I knew you were the one in the middle of that snowstorm we got caught in. That was one of my favorite times with you. With your sense of adventure, I can only imagine where life will take us next. I love you. It's so tempting for me to peek right now. Like, you're just right there. But I can't wait to see you walking down the aisle. You get to hold your hand again a little bit. And then we'll be married. It's like less than two hours from now, we'll be married. Our love is an adventure. Through the triumphs of our brightest days, we will celebrate. Through the morning of our darkest hours, we will hold each other even closer. We will dance, we will sing, we will laugh, and we will cry. We will experience first, and we will experience last. No matter where our adventure takes us, I will be there. Your hand to hold, your arms to hug, your number seven, your man, and your husband. Never ever will I let our adventure end. Never will I grow tired of traveling through life's journeys with you. Never will I stop fighting for our adventure each and every day. I'm going to love you, fight for you, and be there for you forever. Kyle, the first moment I saw you were plays in my mind often. You were wearing that old football shirt with the number seven on the back. My heart really did skip a beat that day. From our first date until now, life with you has been the best adventure. You make me happier than I ever could have imagined and more love than I ever thought possible. Life with you is just natural and fun. The days away from you were so hard, but knowing I would be yours forever got me through. Today, I vow my deepest love and fullest devotion throughout our future together. I vow to be by your side forever and always be faithful to you. I vow to always trust you with whatever crazy idea comes your way. <laughs> I vow to love you, even during football season, and always be ready to sing the WKU fight song. 
I vow to care for you and make you feel loved every day. I'm so excited to begin this adventure with you called marriage. I love you. Amen. A word from Father to Son, okay? Look at McKenzie. Look deep in her eyes. You are to love her as Christ loves the church. You're to cherish her for the remainder of your days. She's yours. You cherish her. Don't ever forsake her. It's your reflection to God, our Heavenly Father, the way you treat her, okay? So, now, Kyle, kiss your wife, please. <laughs>So it gives me the greatest honor and privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Kyle William Parks. She's kind of a perfectionist. Uh, some people might say she's a little bit picky, but we'll call her a perfectionist for the story. Um, so when we were younger, Mackenzie and I used to talk about all the things that we wanted our future husbands to be, the qualities, and Mackenzie had a pretty long list of <laughs> great qualities in a guy that her husband had to have. But she always said she wanted someone who would um, treat her like a princess. She said she wanted someone who loved adventure, would, um, had a desire for a big family, and someone who loved Jesus. And so I think that she's found the perfect person. Um, but it wasn't until Kyle picked her up in a helicopter on their first date that I knew that she had definitely found someone who loved adventure. Um, over the last few years, I've watched her and Kyle's relationship grow, and her smile has just gotten bigger and bigger every time I've seen her. And I know she's so happy. Um, Mackenzie, you were picky for the best reason because nobody deserves a great guy more than you do. Congratulations. I love you guys. I can't.